Hey everybody, welcome to another Valheim build. Today I made a small castle in the meadows with not that many misland pieces, but a couple of decorative things. Um, hope you guys like it. It's very simple. I made a whole time lapse of it. It's not a build guy, but it's kind of here to give you guys some inspiration. Maybe you can do something like this yourself. It's very doable and survival. Just takes a little bit of time. Other than that, enjoy the time lapse. And after the time lapse, I'll be back with a little walk around to show you guys what I did. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was the time lapse. Now here's a little walkthrough. Um, first off, what I when I started building this, I sort of just started building randomly. I didn't really have a plan. I just wanted to make a small castle that was buildable and survival uh, if you just took a little bit of time. Um, there's not many black marble, there's actually no black marble pieces, not many misland pieces, not because I don't really like them, but for this build I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple, a little more traditional fantasy. So I kept it with stone and wood and uh, a bit of like uh, uh, mislands decorations. So uh, let's start walking around. Uh, first off, what I really like is the area, the terrain. It's a, I found a small island and it was a little bit connected, it's kind of connected. So I decided to make it uh, on, on this island. Um, you could have built this, or I could have built this castle a little bit more forward, so there was a little bit more space in the back for more farms. Um, I did that, didn't do that this time, but for anybody that's trying to build something like this, you can. You always need to uh, prep for where you want to have your farms, um, and uh, yeah, especially in survival. So the walls, they're very simple, but they got this little uh, uh, like round extending things on the front. Uh, simple gate, and just simple walls. It's this, this little courtyard, a space for probably more than just one of these things. Probably you could put one here and maybe one there or maybe put two here. So it's enough space. Uh, you also have probably have more space for more smelters. You can put, place one there or here. So yeah, so you, there's space for more, but I want to keep it simple. Uh, I put the blacksmith outside because it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, because of all the smoke and stuff that will probably come off all the blacksmithing. So it doesn't make that much sense to have it all inside. Um, and then there are these stairs that go up the wall, and the wall is very simple. It's just like a, a little defensive courtyard wall, so you can do your stuff without getting attacked by random boars and stuff. Then, let's go to this side. Here is a door that leads to the, out, uh, the back outside part. Uh, here is where your boat is. Little dock area where you can uh, put your boat and maybe have some chests here. You can easily put like a lot of chests around, maybe make uh, boxes here. So, yeah, a lot of space for a lot of things. Then I made this little farm just to show that, like, if you build it a little bit differently or maybe add more terrain to it in the back, you can add a lot of farms here. Like, there's a way more space here, but I just wanted to show off what you can do with a little farm. Like, here's a lot more space. Then uh, I made this uh, fireplace because uh, I didn't have fireplace for my kitchen. Looks kind of cool, I think. And then all the windows on the bottom have this metal grate because it's like, it has to be protected, right? So the whole bottom part's like stone and they have metal grates just so it's not easy for the enemies to get in your castle. The other thing is that I also make these like super high windows. I really like those. Give it a little bit of a, a cathedral or like an old castle feeling. And then I placed all these vines. I used a mod for that, plant everything. I don't really use mods that add things to the game, but the vines are already in the game. And I really like how they look on, on your builds when they're done. So I don't always use them. I don't use them in normal in my normal playthroughs, but for like a build like this, it just looks cool to have vines all over your castle. Okay, now let's get back inside. Um, I want to show you guys the house. I didn't... I wasn't very efficient with the space, just placed some things down where I, where I liked them. So you could be way smarter with the space in this house. So for example, here at the entrance, you could place a lot of boxes and like uh, things to like storage and stuff. Then here, there's so much space on the walls for boxes and storage, but I just wanted to have this like sort of dining entrance hall. I do like the, the, ro the rooms on the sides. So you have this room right here, it's the kitchen, has everything you need. Just I should have made this more into the wall so the smoke doesn't get in here, but it still works. And this kitchen is like fully functional. There's pretty, there's a lot of storage here for a single player. And then on the other side, okay, if I can close the door, on the other side, there is a workbench area. I really like this window when the sun's like this. Gives a really nice lightning effect. And then just everything is here you need. Then, <clears throat> whoa, okay. Let's go up this uh, this tower. So this tower is just purely decorative, but you can easily use it for like a bedroom or more storage or whatever you want to use it for. I just thought it looks cool and it gives you like a pretty cool view. You can look, like this massive window, you can look out, you can just see everything everywhere. Now, the last thing is the upstairs area, the bedroom area. So let's go back and then up one of these stairs 
and then here is where you can sleep again so much more room for storage everywhere like here and there and there but i just kept it simple so this is my bed this bedroom and you have two of these fancy balconies where you can look out and if you have to jump on the wall you can easily jump on the wall and the same is on the other side pretty simple straightforward small castle and of course one in the front I myself I am very happy with this castle uh, it was actually pretty easy to make it took me a day of just building and just thinking about what I wanted to see and, and how I wanted to see it uh, I hope you guys liked it uh, I really enjoyed making it and until the next one see ya